It's not news that the Belkan Bridge, the one that stands at the westernmost crossing of the Hallover Creek in Belize City, needs replacing. The advice was sounded in 2022 when concrete portions of the bridge were seen falling off its base. The bridge has been there since 1969 when funds provided by Canada led to its construction. But since then, the structural integrity of the bridge has deteriorated to a point that any kind of rehabilitation simply would not make sense. As it is right now, it's very difficult for us to do anything to the structure because of the deterioration that is occurring to the substructure. Substructure means the piers and the um, piles that are supporting the bridge deck. Um, from the last evaluation that we did, I think it was shown on your newscast that the piers are spalling off. That means basically the concrete are falling off from the piles itself, um, which are exposing the reinforcement within those piles. The longer it takes, those concrete will continue to fall off and then it will just be the reinforcement within those concrete that is holding up the bridge. The Ministry of Infrastructure, Development and Housing has been engaging the Ministry of Finance to allocate the estimated $17 million it will take to build a new bridge at that crossing. Chief Engineer at the MIDH, Evan Dale Moody, says those discussions are still very much fluid. We had launched the procurement process for a contractor for that project. However, um, because of financing not being solidified, um, we cannot venture into the award of any contract or anything like that at this point in time until we get final approval from the Ministry of Finance. So at this point in time, the project is basically on hold until we could confirm with the Ministry of Finance um, where the funding will come from for this project. Moody says that in the time being, the Ministry has advised that large activities such as parades be diverted to the other two bridges. We were just concerned about the substructure because no one can see the substructure. If we have any excessive vibration on the structure, and that's why we have deter any parade or anything from occurring on the bridge, because if you have that vibration, then definitely that will shake the structure, and then that will put the structure at risk. Yeah. Um, on that structure, because you have the turntable in the middle and the two outside pairs, you have two spans coming, one from Belk, from the Civic Center and one from Seaview. Those are the first two spans that are resting on those intermediate pairs, right? And then one of those ends are resting on the turntable. But if the pair goes, then there's nothing to support that first approach. And the same thing is happening on the Seaview side. Moody says that when the project is approved for a new bridge to be built at the Belkan Crossing, a temporary structure will be put in place to allow pedestrians and cyclists to traverse the crossing. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.